Tom Nunnall from Two Dice Boxing with the IBF Light Weightweight Champion, Paulie Malinagi. Really great to see you today. Uh, what are you keeping yourself busy with? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get uh, ready for the next one. Uh, started training uh, recently and uh, looks like I'm probably going to fight on Ricky's undercard as a co-main on the May 24th show in Manchester. Uh, looks like it's going to be Love More to do the opponent uh, so I can get him out of the way with the rematch clause he's been complaining about. And um, after that, if all goes well, uh, Ricky in the fall. So what training are you doing specifically? Uh, specifically right now we're just getting back in shape. We're just, uh, you know, getting ourselves back in conditioning wise and stuff. And, you know, we'll start sharpening up soon. I just had a free camp in the Poconos, um, back in New York for about a month. And then I'll head down to Florida with Vera and Vero Beach with my trainer, Buddy McGirt. So how do you feel about coming to Manchester with about 40, 50,000 Hatton fans going after you? You know, it, it's going to be cool. Yeah, I'm not fighting Ricky there. I think if you fight Ricky in that kind of atmosphere, it's a very tough atmosphere. But knowing that I'm not fighting Ricky, I think it's going to be a fun experience. I probably, I expect to get booed. But, but, you know, it should be a fun time because, uh, you know, you get to fight in a soccer stadium. You know, my father used to be a pro soccer player in Italy. I'm, I've always been a big soccer fan. And, um, you know, England has a lot of soccer history. So uh, I think I'm going to treat it like a really cool experience. You know, I look forward to something like that. And I, it's, it's always an experience I'm going to have with me in my life I got, I, I, that I got to fight in the Manchester City Stadium. So very, very cool. And um, hopefully it goes well. Me and Ricky both win our fights, which I intend to do. I know Ricky fully intends to do. And we can set up the showdown for the fall. Yeah, I've talked to Ricky already. Uh, November seems to be the date. Where would you rather fight him? In, in Manchester or come down to Madison um, Square? I believe the fight will be in the U.S. Um, I've heard in Madison Square Garden. I've heard Las Vegas. Um, Ricky's already fought in Las Vegas. So I think the ideal situation would be Madison Square Garden. It's the first stop on the plane coming across the Atlantic for the Brits and uh, New York would be. So it would be perfect. You know, it, would be, it would be ideal. I would sell a lot of tickets to New York. Ricky always sells a lot of tickets no matter where he fights. So I, I think it would be ideal. It would be perfect. So um, I, if it lands up in the garden, it will truly be a big event. Okay, no Lost, have you got any last words for Ricky Hatton? He will be listening. Oh uh, well, Ricky, man, I'm, you know, I basically I'm gonna tell him like I've been saying, I got his belt, man. You know, uh, everybody wants to say Ricky's the best at 140. You can't be the best at 140 if you don't always fight at 140. You know, uh, so I've taken over where Ricky left off. Um, I know there's guys like Witter there who I also think is a phenomenal fighter, but uh, I'm gonna take out Hatton first, and then I'm gonna shoot for somebody like Witter. I, I believe Witter's gotten the short end of the stick his whole career. I think he's a very, very, very good fighter. Tremendous amount of respect for Junior Witter. And um, one at a time, you know, I want to take out Hatton first. And uh, everyone who has the consensus, the best 140 pounds in the world is Ricky Hatton, even though I have the title. So I believe I'm the best in 140. Ricky believes he's the best in 140. Winner believe believes he's the best in 140. So we can all make these fights happen. We'll really find out who the best in 140 is right now. So what you think is you want to clean up the division? I want to clean up the division. And everybody always talks about it, but if we can make it happen, 